welcome. We're going to be doing a BC spot prawn and risotto. stock out of this because there's a lot of flavor still in the head and quite a bit of flavor left in the tails but primarily you get a lot of flavor from inside the head. So we've got the uh, tails and the heads of the spot prawns that we just cleaned up and a little bit of the liquid there so we're just going to put that into a pot. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of onion. It's about 80 grams of onion. And we're going to add about a liter, liter and a half of cold water. And this we're going to just put some heat on that and let that go. Primarily you want to make your stock um, anywhere between 25 to 30 minutes. So we've let our stock go uh, now for about 30 minutes and really, really aromatic. Really nice flavor. And now we're just going to strain that through a really fine chinois. Make sure that we don't get any of the pieces of the prawns, none of the onions. Great, great smell coming off of that. And then after you're done with the prawn shells, you can just discard those. So now we have a really, really nice aromatic prawn stock. We're going to use that in a production of our risotto. Okay, so now we're going to start off with our risotto. I've got about 32 milliliters of just a really nice canola oil and about 5 to 10 grams of chopped garlic. I'm going to cold start that garlic. It's quite important to um, cold start garlic so that you don't burn it first and foremost. And as you start to sweat the garlic, it lets off a lot of flavor. It becomes very aromatic in the air. Um, if you put it into a hot pan, what's going to happen is it's going to start to burn instantaneously. You're not going to get the flavors that you want. You know, I can really smell that garlic starting to permeate. So I'm going to go ahead now and add about uh, 20, 30 grams of chopped white onion. And saute that up a little bit with our garlic. So it becomes translucent or soft to the touch. It doesn't take long with that much onion on a nice medium heat. Let's say you're looking at probably 45 seconds to 60 seconds. Okay, now onions are nicely sweated. I'm going to go ahead and add about 250 grams of arborio rice. And right next to me, I can smell we've got our beautiful pond stock that we made earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and work the rice around on the bottom of the pot, making sure that I incorporate the onions and the garlic in with the rice. The key point here is to prevent the rice from sticking, you really want to kind of toast it and get it coated with all the oil that's in the pan. Being careful not to burn your rice. Lightly toast it, get it nice and coated with the oil. And then we're going to go ahead and start adding our prawn stock. Just a little bit at a time. And always remembering to stir your arboreal. You don't want to overwork the rice. That way you break up the grains and really release too much starch in the rice. But you always want to keep it moving so that it doesn't A, stick to the bottom of the pan or B, stick to each other. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of white pepper. I always like to add white pepper. I don't really use it that much, but in a risotto I will. Just because I don't like to see the black flakes of black pepper. So a little bit of white pepper. A couple bay leaves. Now when I'm done making the risotto, I'll pull the bay leaves out. Just to give a little bit of flavor as you're cooking it. Now you want to just keep stirring your rice and reducing the liquid. And as the liquid reduces, the rice is absorbing it and essentially getting that prawn flavor from the stock. So as our risotto is cooking, over here next to it, we're going to go ahead and start our prawns. So we've got a nice little saute pan. To that I'm just going to add about 32 milliliters of butter. I'm 
keeping my eye on the arboreal rice over here, stirring at all times. You want to be reducing the stock almost dry and then adding a little bit more. Risotto will turn creamy just on its own. It's just from the starches being released in the rice. So there's no need to add any cream. There's no need to add any cheese. If you have a really good stock and you make this risotto properly, you won't have to use anything to make it nice and creamy. It does it on its own. Just going to go ahead and season that risotto a little bit. A little bit of salt. We'll give that a taste in a few minutes. Okay, so now our butter melted, sizzling. Let's go ahead and add our prawns. Nice. So those are the spot prawns we clean, and I just cut them up into bite-sized pieces. I'm going to go ahead and add some soybeans or Japanese edamame. Okay, so these prawns, being so delicate, they take very little time to cook. I'm just going to go ahead and deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine. Let the alcohol cook off in the white wine. We'll add just a touch more white pepper, a little bit of salt. Give that a taste. going to take that off the heat now. Let that sit for a minute. Our risotto is almost done. Okay, so now we've got our risotto right down in the consistency we want. Nice and creamy. I haven't added anything in there. It's just naturally creamy. And perfectly cooked. I'm going to go ahead and add the prawns and the soybeans. A lot of flavor in that pan. Just check for seasoning. Perfect. The whole time I'm using a wooden spoon, especially in a really nice pan that you have at home, you don't want to be using a metal spoon. It scratches the sides, makes it look not so nice anymore. You can garnish that with a little bit of prawn and tomato oil. Some pea sprouts on top, and there we have it.